I had a very aggressive form of CLL, and 13 years ago the treatments weren't that great. Uh, so I thought it was important to inform my family, my friends, my patients about what was going on with me. And I was first doing that by email, and then my kids said, Dad, that's so old school, you know, you should get a blog. And I started to blog, and the blog became extremely popular with tens of thousands of people reading it every month. And I leveraged my access as a physician, I also have a master's degree in medical education, to reach out to the CLL experts. So I was interviewing them and presenting them. Uh, their latest data from meetings like this one here at the American Society of Hematology in terms of how to best manage CLL. And treatments were radically changing during that time. It quickly became apparent though that a blog which is chronological and tells the story, you know, starting at one point and going forward, wasn't the best way because there was always newbies coming aboard who didn't know what a lymphocyte was or what the spleen did. So it became clear that I had to set up a not-for-profit to help people, which was more horizontal in its information, and people could have access to the top CLL information, but also the very basic kinds of information. 